I am highly disappointed in the Trump movement, um, but I do understand that there are a significant amount of people in this country that like him for his at least strong rhetoric and uh, seem especially in a troubling time for our country. But the sort of fear mongering that we're seeing out of Donald Trump really concerns a lot of us. He doesn't represent Republican values. Um, this is a party that should be espousing opportunity and hope. You've got Trump just tearing down everything that the party has built over the last few years to dispel um, these false accusations about Republicans that were not inclusive, that were a bunch of racists. Does the Republican Party have a problem with attracting young voters? Republican ideas have a bit of a branding problem, that it isn't cool to be traditional. Um, to date, the Republicans haven't really learned how to surmount that problem. This was supposed to be the uh, election where we were supposed to do it, right? Rubio was cool. Rubio listens to rap music. Rubio speaks two languages. He's young. He's fun. You like EDM. I do. Uh, electronic dance music. Yes. It's, I, I don't want people, maybe people thought that was something else. <laughs> we're supposed to have the cool candidates, and we did. Given the field now, do you think the Republican Party can recover? We've got a lot of strong young leaders in the party from Paul Ryan, Scott Walker, Ted Cruz. If you look at the Democratic Party, you've got Harry Reid, Hillary Clinton. They're an old party and a dying party. But it's been able to get a lot of the youth vote. I guess the, the Republican Party just needs to learn how to speak the language because the values of the Republican Party, I think, translate more to where this country needs to be going.